Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Girl with the Scalpel. This is Dr. Mehek. I welcome you all to again today's exclusive video for all those who are in the fourth year of the dental school or all those who have already completed the dental school in their respective countries and aspire to go to the US and practice there as an international dentist. As you all know, there are two pathways by which we can practice dentistry in the United States. One is completing your international program to become a dentist that is the DDS and another one is entering into another route which is pursuing the residency that is the dental residency in the United States. Although after achieving your residency the options of practicing in certain states becomes limited but that is only for a few years. After practicing for a few years, you can also apply for your licensing in other provinces as well and practice in whole of the United States. So as we all know, the first route that is of pursuing DDS after INBDE, the second route about pursuing residency after INBDE. But what if you don't have INBDEs? What if you can't clear that exam? Sometimes it becomes very difficult for some people to balance their work as well as clear these exams. So there is a third option or a third route with, to which I will take you to and it might help you out in some way or the other. And also this video is exclusively for the international dentists who are not PRs or citizens of the United States. It will be very helpful for them so that they can apply them and also this video would contain all those residency routes which you can take up and even those colleges or those schools provide you the F1 sponsorship. Now regarding the F1 sponsorship, I would all request you all to go onto the internet, search about the F1 sponsorship and you will get to know what I'm talking about. So that would be your homework. Now, do you want to pursue the residency in the United States but not able to pass the INBDEs or the NBDs? I have a perfect solution for you or rather certain solutions for you. So I will be taking you to certain schools by which to, in which you can apply. Now this is exclusively again for international dentists and you get an F1 sponsorship as well. That is you just have to apply the sponsorship or the visa for uh, which is exclusively for those who are studying in the United States. Now by achieving these residencies. What will happen is after doing this residency, you can apply for your dental licensing exams and you can become that dentist. Now regarding the states where you can practice as a, after pursuing your dental residency, I will be coming up with the next video in all those states where you can practice. Obviously with each turning day, the states are getting reduced, but still there's a lot of time, still you can achieve that. But the catch here is if you achieve the dental residency and you practice for certain years in that particular state, after practicing, you can apply for licensing in another provinces as well. And then you can practice in whole of the United States. So that's a win-win situation, although it will take some time, but you will achieve your goal. So the first institution or the school which I want to tell you about is the Eastman Institute of Oral Health in the Texas A&M College of Dentistry. Now in this in school you can apply for the AEGDs that is the Advanced Education General, General Dentistry Program. You can apply into this and it doesn't require INBDE and also it accepts the international students. And the third catch is you don't need to be a PR or a citizen in the United States. The second is that this is more of an orthodontics fellowship. If you have already done your residency in orthodontics, if you want to pursue a fellowship in orthodontics, you can take up the Case Western Reserve University or the Craniofacial Orthodontic Fellowship. Again, it doesn't require INBDEs. You don't need to be a PR or a citizen in the United States and they might provide you that F1 sponsorship. Then is the Geriatric Dentistry. Now, it is more of a relatively new year branch and um, very less people know about this branch but it's more of an upcoming thing so you can apply for this residency in the very esteemed Boston University of Henry M Goldman School of Dental Medicine and also at the Harvard School of Dental Medicine again I will be providing up certain links of these institutions into my description box do check that out then another one is implant dentistry now 
by pursuing this implant dentistry which is more of a mini residency or a one year residency now you can apply to this residency in, again in boston university of henry m goldman school of dental medicine in tufts university and in harvard school of dental medicine then the orthodontics or the research fellowship again a very excellent opportunity for just the dental graduates as well as for the post graduates or who have done their residency in their home countries in, sorry in oral surgery you can apply in boston university henry m goldman school of dental herman ostro school of usc medicine jacksonville university university of california san francisco and university of illinois at chicago so these are all the options where you can pursue your orthodontics or the research fellowship and that too without the inbdes without being a pr or a us citizen and the international students are welcomed so this brings me to end of today's video it was a short and a brief video also i would like to tell you that i will be providing the links to all these universities in the description box do visit those pages this perception and these institutions are totally dependent on my research and upon my understanding there can be certain hiccups here and there you can check that the rules and regulations of all these institutions at their parent websites research about them and then you can apply this to these universities so i am here to help you out to fulfill your dream the dream to pursue the dentistry in the united states of america and i hope you all fulfill your dream so till the next time best of luck to you bye bye